All right, guys. What's two plus two? Go. Winners. I won. I won. I won. I won. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. I was on my back from you all night, so don't think it's in the past. These kind of wounds, they last and they last now. Then you think it all through. All these things will catch up to you in time again. Yo, but this won't. So if you're coming my way. Good morning, Wormont. This is my friend Mary. And this is my friend Saida. And we're here with your Marauder News. Please stand for the pledge. <laughs> pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tomorrow's weather is mostly cloudy with a high of 58. NHS tutoring will be on Tuesday, 6.30 a.m. until 7.10 a.m., room 302. Thursday, 2.30 p.m. until 3.30 p.m., room 300. It is canceled on Thursday. ELL tutoring will be on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the South House Computer Lab, room 200 from 2.30 to 4. A bus is available to take students home. Please help to spread, spread the word about this amazing resource. Anyone interested in nursing, Aquinas College is having Health Science Career Day on November 16th. Please see Mr. Kopak in counseling before November 9th to reserve a visit. Wormma is having a scholastic book fair during parent-teacher conferences on Monday, November 23rd and Tuesday, November 24th. Come out and join your WISPA and on November 20th and 21st at 7.30 at Sterling Heights High School for a night of jazz, drama, and comedy. It is 15 for adults and 10 for students and senior citizens. Active military or war veterans are free. NHS is giving a military dinner on December 15th from 5.30 to 7.30. If you have an active duty military or veteran in your family, please see Mr. Orvec for more info. Now here's a video on hats and scholastic book fair. The old neighborhood is changing. It's starting to become trendy. It's losing its culture and history, and this angers Maya. But her twin sister, Nikki, is embracing every minute of it. She's shopping in the boutiques and drinking fancy lattes. Maya is losing her old friends and doesn't quite trust the newcomers. Now, Maya and Nikki are at odds and no longer agree on everything. There's tension and betrayal. So Maya has to decide where she belongs and how much of the past she needs to hold on to. My name is Renee Watson and I'm the author of This Side of Home. This Side of Home is about identical twin sisters, Nikki and Maya, who are living in a neighborhood that is changing. Nikki is so excited about all the new shops that are in her neighborhood. She loves going to the coffee shops. She loves going to the new bakeries and art galleries. But Maya is very hesitant. She feels like the community is losing its heritage, its roots. With all the people who built the community moving out, Maya's afraid that she's losing not only friends and neighbors, but her heritage, her history. And she wants to know where she comes from so that she can understand where she wants to go. I grew up in a neighborhood that was changing when I was a junior in high school in Portland, Oregon. And I thought maybe these changes were just happening in my community. But then I moved to New York, and I lived in Brooklyn, and I saw changes there. I moved to Harlem, and I saw it happening there. I work in the Bronx, and I see it happening there. And so I started to think that maybe this is not just about Portland, Oregon, but about many places that people call home. So I wanted to write a story about that. 
you relate to the characters in this side of home because like you, they go through a lot of changes. Every time Nikki and Maya think that they figured each other out, that they figured themselves out, that they figured the world out, things start to change. So if you're in need of a little inspiration, this side of home is a good book for you. College visits open to juniors and seniors. Seniors can sign up the five visits and juniors can sign up the three visits. Uh, Penn State University at 9.45 a.m. November 19th at the school library. Alma College, 1.45 November 20th in school library. Monday, November 16th in room 108 for juniors and seniors that are interested in taking a course at Macomb Community College. The first meeting will be at 8.30 and the second meeting will be at 12.30. Each junior or senior needs to attend only one of these two meetings. The MISD is offering SAT prep worksheets starting in January. See your counselor or Mr. Dignan for more information. Detention is now held in the school suspension room next to the ban room. Detention runs from 2.30 to 3 and students need to be in detention by 2.30. Uh -huh. <laughs> NHS is having a canned food drive all month during first hour. Winning class gets breakfast treats. Attention all seniors, the deadline for senior headshots is November 30th. Woo! To seniors and juniors, there will be an informative meeting for juniors and seniors who would, who would like to apply for dual enrollment courses at Macomb Community College for the winter 2016 term. There will be two meeting times on November 16th. One is at 8.30, another is at 12.30. The meeting will be held in room 200. Must attend one of these meetings if you are interested. That's it for your Marauder News. Now here's a video on yearbook. Have a good day. Buy your book. Buy your book. Buy your book. Buy your book. Buy a yearbook. It's only $75. Morning, my, my name is Crystal. My name is Chris. And I'm Joseph. And we're here with your Marauder Sports. Boys basketball trials are starting today. Freshman at 2.30, JV at 6.30, varsity at 4.30 in the main gym. If you have any questions, see Coach Owen in room 421. There will be a meeting for any boys interested in swimming this year. Tomorrow, November 17th at 3.15 in the pool. That's it on your Marauder News. Now here's a video on careers. Have a wonderful day. And shout out to Tatiana Williams for making all conference in volleyball. Woo! And shout out to all the other fall sports. Woo! Were you the kid that made straight A's in math? I was. A career full of audits, taxes, and accounts might await you. Me? Okay, you guys, I want to be an accountant. How much do they make? They get paid $63,000 a year. Oh, that sounds like a great job to have. Hopefully I'll become one. The Labor Department predicts that there will be 166,000 job openings in this career by the year 2022. Oh, oh my God, God, for real? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And it only takes four years to be an accountant. That's right. After that, it only takes two years to get a master's degree. Be an accountant today. Blase, blase, blase. 